go. So today, me and my cat, who has decided, ah, this is the place that they have to be right now, are going to talk about how to pack up an acrylic painting for shipping. So this is an acrylic pour paint, which just means it's acrylic paint that is a little liquidy, sort of good poured on. And acrylic is an essence plastic. So once it dries, you can see as I'm rubbing my finger along it, it's not going to smear like pastels or watercolors or other things would. That being said, it could still be gouged or you know have other kinds of damage happen to it. So I would not want to just stick it into a box and hope that it made it to the other end without some sort of damage on it. So here's what you do in order to protect something that's an acrylic paint, and this happens to be on canvas, a wood frame with canvas wrapped around it. So this is how you would pack it up for shipping. So the first thing you want is parchment paper or wax paper. Yeah, here we go. So I've got some wax paper here. And this is just to put a layer around your painting and help make sure that it stays unmarred. Let's see if the wax paper discourages the cat. Nope, the cat does not care. You never want to tape anything to any of the paint surface of the painting because you never know if the tape is going to actually pull up some of this because again this is just plastic which is sort of connected to the canvas but you you know, if you had a thumbnail and you dragged it around, you could certainly rip the plastic layer up off of the canvas layer. So you want to make sure never to tape onto the painting. Always tape <laughs> onto either the wood frame or even better, onto itself. So that you don't have anything that could be torn free. So I've got this paper. I'm going to put some tape over here. Come on. Now this would be... Much easier if the cat did not like to lend a hand. Oh no, the cat was not here at all during any of the setup phase. The cat only comes running over when I start talking because the cat knows that that is their sign to participate. All right, so now there is wax paper all around the edge and I'm going to fold this in and then tape over so that the wax paper stays on and doesn't slide out. So I'm gonna fold this over. I will also know that I got this white sheet here specifically so that I could take pictures of things against a nice white background. And you'll note that it like immediately became covered with cat fur. <laughs> There's just no hope in this household for things to remain cat free. I suppose that's one of the joys of having a cat. All right. So now this is got the wax paper on all sides of it. The next step is that you want to put it into a box which is about the same size as the painting. So you don't want to send it in like a, um, I don't know, a bubble wrap or something like that. That doesn't provide a lot of security. You want it to be an actual box. So you can see that this fits in here. This isn't a perfect fit, there's a little extra space, but you know, you do what you can. You're not always going to find boxes that are perfect. And you want the surface side pointing to the inside of the box. That way if something gouges it from this side, it doesn't manage to dent through the box and dent into the front of the painting. So that's the back side of the painting. Put the front to this side. Here, we'll just use the cat as a table. You know, cats can be helpful. So helpful. And then what I'm going to do is I've got packing peanuts. So I'm going to put packing peanuts in on this side to act as a buffer. Or you could put, you know, if you got lots of bubble wrap or um soft paper or something like that, whatever you happen to have. I just happen to have gotten a bunch of packing peanuts in from something else that I bought, so I might as well use them to then send this painting out. Alright, so you don't want to jam it full. But you want enough so that the painting is not going to be bouncing around in there. Alright, 
So I think you can see, you know, at this point, that's in there securely, where it's not going to move a lot, but there's also not a lot of pressure on the front. And if this did squish for some reason, um, there's not going to be a lot of pressure on the front of the canvas to put dents into it or anything like that. These packing peanuts should be soft enough that even if it squished, these would squish a little and wouldn't actually put a dent into the canvas front. Because you have to remember you're worried not only about something scraping the paint so that the paint scrapes away from the canvas, but also something actually physically poking the canvas or denting the canvas, which would be equally troublesome. All right, so I think maybe one more handful. All right, so that should be. Yep, so now that's not going to move now. And this should make the journey quite nicely. So again, the keys are to have a sturdy cardboard box on the outside, mark it as fragile. On the inside, wrap your acrylic painting in uh, wax paper. Don't tape to the painting surface and then fill the rest of it with something soft so that it stays pretty much the same and uh, put the face of the painting away from the edges so that something can't poke in at the canvas part of the painting. Fill the rest with some sort of soft surface uh, packing peanuts or paper, whatever, and then you should be good to go. So let me know if you have any questions.